for permitting, the builder put a Coltec system in the property. It's on the other side of the house under the driveway. And it does the job, but with the calculations on the stormwater system, they certainly never take into account any kind of surface runoff or laminar flow, water being sent down onto the property from other locations. It's merely a calculation for the impervious surface of the roofs and maybe some hardscapes. That being said, when this guy gets an ocean wave of water running down at him, the Coltec system fills up immediately. Infiltration is, you know, a, a timing game. You have infiltration and exfiltration. When the water fills those chambers up, we're waiting for that water to percolate and find its way into the earth. And if the water table's high, it really doesn't do that sometimes for days. It could be 72 hours, three days to drain a Coltec. So when it's full, it just finds an overflow or pushes its way out of the ground. In the case of this property, he gets a huge puddle. I mean, a lake, essentially, not a puddle. A lake on this side of the property. Basement is flooded a number of times. All the water builds up here and slowly encroaches on the house. Hydrostatic pressure gets water inside the house. Big, big problem. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but the way this property was graded, day it used to be probably more of a severe hillside they've graduated it so there's like a plateau right here and then right where my fingertip is is another hillside this is an edge and then it drops again to where my guys are so this water just kind of dips hits the plateau finds the low spot which is right here rips back down and then just fills the yard up with water Homeowner brought in another professional. He didn't find us first, so he brought in another drainage professional. They did a very simple uh, attempt at trying to solve this, and they just put a small, shallow basin in, which is right here, and another one, which is right here. And they're very undersized, and they just had pipes that connected and sent the water back around to the Coltec system. Why that's problematic is the Coltec system, like I said, cannot handle that water. So once it fills and it backs up, the Coltec's pressurize, and this water cannot feed into the system until the water inside the Coltec dissipates. So this just backs up and then contributes to the ponding. What we've done is modified the entire design over here on this side of the property. What you're looking at here is the biggest French drain system probably any of you have ever seen. Um, it is massive. We're three feet wide. And we're about 24 inches deep here. 